Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. So in the last video, we covered the topic of thoracic vertebrae, and today we are going to learn about the lumbar vertebrae and the characteristics they possess. Yeah, I know we are slowly approaching the end of the spine. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. This is the figure for lumbar vertebrae in the spinal column. As we have discussed earlier, there are five lumbar vertebrae. So this is the arrangement for lumbar one, lumbar two. Lumbar three, lumbar four, and lumbar five vertebrae. In Latin, lumbar vertebrae are called as vertebra lumbales. Okay, let's discuss the various characteristic features they possess and look at them in the figures. First of all, is lumbar vertebrae don't possess foramen transversarium. Let's see the transverse process to locate if we can find the foramen. So by looking at this picture we can easily say that there are no foramen transversarium present in lumbar vertebrae. Next we have the point about the body of the lumbar vertebrae that is the body has a large size. Let's see it in the figure. So this is the large body size as you can see. Did you know when you sit in the clenched posture the vertebra which gets the stress most is the third lumbar vertebra. So yeah you should sit straight. Talking about the spinous process of the lumbar vertebrae, they are directed almost backwards. You can see the spinous process in the figure. Point about the transverse process is our next view. The posterior inferior aspect of the base of transverse process has another process called as accessory process. Let's see these processes. So this vertebra and these small bulging out processes which you can see are the accessory processes on both the sides. We also have another process that is present in the lumbar vertebra called as the mammillary process. Let's see it. So this pointed out process is the mammillary process of the lumbar vertebra. This is also little and it is very difficult to distinguish it. Coming to the parts of the lumbar vertebra, let's revise the parts of lumbar vertebra as whole. First we see this massive body. Next this whole is our vertebral forearm. This laterally projecting process is our transverse process. These are superior articular process. This is the spinous process. The vertebral body is connected to the arc by this pedestal. This small process is our accessory process. And this pointed out process is the mammillary process. Yeah, so that is it for today guys. I hope you understood today's topic. The video is short but it covers the whole topic about the lumbar vertebra. So thanks for watching guys, have a nice day.